YouTube, what's happening? Dre Man here. Now, um, y'all know what time it is. It's time for Factor Bullshit episode X I B. Now, I got a lot of questions this week, so it's time to get the ball rolling. Let's just get on fancy the questions. Now, the first one comes from OCW8918. And this one says, well, he got three of them. It'd be a good idea to make a Mega Man movie. Factor Bullshit. Now, uh, I'm, I'm a, I like Mega Man and everything, you know, I've been playing those games ever since, you know, I was, you know, a toddler or whatever, but be, a Mega Man movie would be hard to do because you gotta, you gotta find actors, and I doubt anybody, who's, anybody can stack up to the Mega Man acting caliber, I doubt anybody can, you know, there's, I doubt there's an actor out there who can play Mega Man, uh, let's see, the special effects, I mean, they'd be, special effects, if, if it was a live action, it'd be kind of cheesy, and, um, well, pretty, pretty much all in all, if they don't go completely CGI, I don't see a Mega Man movie happening. So, can a Mega Man movie be done? No. At least not without CGI. No. Um, Alright. Question two from uh, OCW is, Intelligence coming back to hip-hop. Well, it, it's hard because, uh, you know, you got all these, you have all this auto-tune beers and all you got all these songs with dances. It seems like that's all you need to make a hit song, but there are some smarter rappers out there like, uh, you know, Papoose, and um, you still have rappers like Nas, you have a Little Technique, you have uh, KRS One, you got, um, let's see, Saigon, you got Lupe Fiasco, and even some Kanye West's older stuff. So, intelligence is coming back to hip hop slow but, slowly but surely, and there needs to be new artists on the rise for that. So, I'd say it's a fact. And uh, last one from him is um, Mr. Kennedy would have been the next Stone Cold Steve Austin of this generation if uh, the WWE hadn't fired him. Um, well, I think he would have been the next something. I think he would have been the next Rock because he has the wrestling skills and, uh, you know, he got, he damn sure got the mic skills. Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy! But now they're trying to build up, uh, John Cena as the new Rock. You see how that's working. And we got, uh, we're trying to build up Randy Orton as the new Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, the, the whole badass guy who doesn't give a damn, does whatever he wants, plays the rules. But, uh, yeah, he could have definitely been somebody. He could have been, you know, one of the greats of the WWE he had, he had released. Hopefully TNA or some other wrestling federation do something else with him. But thank you for the question. That's time to move on to the next one. And the next question comes from Riley Richards, which is fact of bullshit. YouTube partner need to stop trolling YouTube, finding random music, and personal messaging them, advertising the videos and channel. Fact, because, I mean, I've gotten uh, countless, e well, not countless emails, but i got like 14 emails from, you know, YouTube partners and, you know, people with like 10,000 subscribers or more. Like, what one, what, what, what is my subscribe, what is my subscription going to do? I mean, you already have a hell of a fan base, you already got more than 10,000 subscribers, and um, why, do you, why do you want me to subscribe anyway? I mean, and, and if, you're gonna, if you want me to subscribe to you, help me out, give me a shout out, damn it. I mean, come on now, dude. And all in all, they do need to stop trolling and stuff because they got enough attention and they like it ain't like they need any more. They can get subscribers naturally on their own. But uh, thanks for the question, Riley. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go on to the next one. And the next question comes from the Nerd Gangster. Um, ooh, just two of them. Eminem is a better rapper than Tupac. Fact of BS. Uh, man, tough one, tough one. I mean, lyrically, um, Eminem is a beast. He's a beast right now. And, you know, Tupac is one of the all-time greats. Now, I can't, I'm not saying that Eminem can't be great, one of the all-time greats, because, you know, he's went platinum many, many, many times and had many, many hit singles and songs. But, you know, Tupac, I mean, it's, it's hard to compare the two, but it's so easy because they got similar styles. They're so real and raw and everything. But um, I'd say it's bullshit because Eminem, i say he's almost on Tupac's level, but he's not a better rapper. Now, question two is uh, Lady Gaga is a man, Factor BS. Lady Gaga is um, fine as hell, but um, as far as her being a man or not, uh, you, you never really can't tell because Tran is looking freaking fine as hell. But hey, only one way to find out. This next question comes from uh, A98. This one says, time to get random. Poop is undisputed. Fact or bullshit? What the fuck? Well, uh, completely disregarding that last question, <laughs> uh, the great MB says, um, fact or BS? Dragon Ball Z owns Naruto. It's a fact. Now, with me liking Naruto, or whatever, um, they, in Dragon, I mean, it's obvious where um, Naruto gets a lot of its elements from. Cause it's pretty safe to say that without um, Dragon Ball Z, there'd be no Naruto. Because you know, you see a lot of the elements, the action, the fights, the storyline, and um, pretty much. But it can't outdo. Dra I mean, while Naruto's good, it can't outdo um, 
Dragon Ball Z. I'm sorry to all you Naruto fans. Now, uh, thanks for the question, Great MV. Time to move on to the next one. Now, the next question of the day comes from uh, Manny Manolo. And this one says, back to BS. Aaliyah would have been way better than Beyonce if she was still alive today. They say a true um, artist's work isn't appreciated until they're gone, but um, with Aaliyah, that's not the case because I appreciated the hell out of her while she was, you know, on this earth and when she was singing and doing all this stuff. You know? I mean, because, like, when Aaliyah, I mean, she, Aaliyah was already in the game for, like, a couple years before Beyonce. Beyonce was still a teenager with um, Destiny Childs and everything, but, um, Aaliyah, I mean, I love Aaliyah, and I have to say that, um, I, I'll say it's a fact. She would have been, you know, better than Beyonce. You know, people will be people will be paying, you know, a little bit more attention to Aaliyah than Beyonce because she's one of the veterans and everything. You know, kind of like Mary J. Blige. I mean, you don't you you don't forget, you know, the past. You know, just to make room for the future. You don't do that. But all in all, I say yeah, Aaliyah would be better. Be. Now, the last question of the day comes from um, this is actually a question I forgot to do last week, and this from DJ Thug nigga. This one says um. Skinny jeans are gay on men. Fact or BS? <laughs> I'm going to say it's a fact. A man should not wear no um, jeans where, you know, you can see his balls poking out through his underleg or whatever. This shit is gross. And while I'm on the subject, there's certain things that men should not be wearing. Men, don't wear no damn open toe shoes. Don't wear open toe sandals. Stop that shit. And stop getting all these weird ass pierces where you ain't supposed to get them. <coughs> uh, yeah. And, um,. Get the, getting tramp tans, that's out. Them high, them, uh, them low cut shirts and everything. Stop that shit. And, and men are even wearing freaking capris and shit. Like, you know, the pants that are, the pants that are too long to be short, but too short to be pants. Stop wearing that shit. But all in all, yeah, skinny jeans are gay. Men can stop wearing all this bullshit. Be a man. Wear real shit. Uh, <laughs> that's my little mini rant. And is that, that does it for this edition of Fact of Bullshit. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe to these videos, and send me your questions. I'll be back next week.